Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Animisha Damawada And today I'm going to tell you uh, Something that we need to know When starting group discussion Number one Is the guideline of group discussion uh, There are some guidelines We have to do when having group discussion Namely we must have a topic this is an important thing because if we don't have topic so there is nothing to be discussed the next is the group discussion must be solutive cooperative and contributive solutive means that group discussion aims to uh, find a solution about the topic of the pro or the problem that being discussed and contributive means uh, in group discussion each member actively contributing in it like they uh, actively giving their opinion or uh, express their disagreement agreement about others opinion or asking question so from all these things they can make a good solution at the end of the group so group discussion the last is cooperative cooperative means that each member of the group discussion uh, need to develop their teamwork so uh, with this they can together make the solution or find the solution for the problem and group dis discussion not mean to knock each other out or being competitive number two uh, we have the standard procedure of group discussion uh, when having group discussion there are some procedure we need to be followed the first uh, we have to form a group of six or more people and then we need a topic next before starting the group discussion uh, each member the member of group discussion given a few minutes to make their argument or uh, opinion and the reason why they have that opinion and then they can start the discussion by allowing the each member of group discussion to express their opinion in here other member that that not uh, express their opinion can giving argument other argument about the member that giving their opinion or asking question if they don't understand about the opinion that the member give or give express their disagreement or agreement and the last is at the end of the group discussion uh, the leader uh, need to make a conclusion to find a best solution from all of the opinion solution or argument that others member give and the important thing is the total time of group discussion is 45 minutes so we need to do the procedure uh, properly and then number three uh, we have the rules of group discussion uh, first we have to express our opinion politely and respect other member opinion that different from ours and next rules is when uh, we giving our disagreement about others people opinion we have to express it respectfully so the people we uh, disagree with will not be feel offended and uh, other rules is don't giving interruption too often because this thing will make the discussion become longer and uh, will
take so much time and also when giving uh, our argument or idea please make it to the point and the last rules is when uh, rejecting other people opinion please rejecting it with clear reason next number four is the roles of group discussion leader so the leader of group discussion is the one that uh, control how the discussion will go like they the one that starting and ending the discussion and also they the one that giving other member opportunity or permission in expressing their idea and contribute in the discussion and the la at the last of a uh, group discussion the leaders is the one that will make conclusion of about the topic or find solution about the topic that they discuss next number five is the members uh, roles during the group discussion so the member uh, have actively uh, contribute in group discussion by providing idea uh, giving argument disagreement or agreement and asking question and also listening carefully to the others member and the leaders uh, listening carefully of what others member and leaders convey next they need to uh, expressing their idea with clear reason and also they have to open in accepting others member idea and at the last and uh, they need to uh, stick in the topic that being discussed next the last is number six we have uh, phrases used by members and the leader during group discussion so when uh, starting group discussion the leader can say in less formal way we can use uh, shall we begin or let's begin our discussion something like that next when uh, the leader introducing the topic he can say uh, today's our topic is or today we here to discuss about blah 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 like that next the leader when inviting other members or giving other member opportunity to uh, express their idea he can say uh, what do you think or does anyone anyone have uh, opinion about this topic or uh, he can just directly point the person he want to invite like what do you think Ella or what do you think Mifta or they can say uh, do you agree with that Mifta or do you agree with that Ella something like that next the member itself when they uh, being invited when they invited uh, when giving their opinion they can say in my opinion or I think or it seems to me that blah 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 and etc when agreeing with someone else opinion they can say uh, I agree with you or I think you op your opinion is right and when they disagreeing with others member opinion they can say I don't agree with you or I'm afraid I'm, I don't agree with you something like that and when giving interruption they can say uh, I'm sorry to interrupt here or 
uh, can I make a point like that and at the end of group discussion the leader will make conclusion and when making conclusion he can say uh, that's all we have for today so the conclusion about our topic today is blah 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 or oh, and when ending the discussion he can say let's end our discussion uh thank you everyone something like that uh, there are many other phrases you can use uh, you can search it in google or look for it in google so i think it's the end of our vid my video thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh